Assalamu alaikum, hi everybody, it's Nashi Habab here with Sindhu Portside and in this video I'm going to talk to you about a question that a lot of people ask it, what is the difference between sentence, clause and phrase, okay? Here I'm not going to speak about types of sentences or whatever, but I'm going to speak about the differences. First, the sentence, it's a full meaning part of speech, full meaning, like for example, if it's a short or long, it has a full meaning. Like, if I say, he is kind, or she is beautiful, uh, he plays football, that's a full meaning sentence. It comes in three words, all of them, comes in three words form, subject, verb, adjective, subject, verb, object, whatever, but it holds a full meaning. That's the most important thing. It could be long, by the way. Like, if I say, yesterday he went to the supermarket, bought some stuff, prepared dinner, uh, watch it, um, little TV, then slept. Okay, all of that comes in one sentence again, but it's a long one that holds some events inside, but it's one sentence. So it could be short, it could be long, it has a full meaning. Okay, to understand the difference or what is the idea of full meaning, let's go for the clues. The clues is the same. It could have subject, verb, object, or subject, verb, adjective, whatever, but it doesn't have a full meaning. Example, if you work hard, that's a conditional clause. Okay, then what? If you work hard. So I need to have something. I, you need to add something to this. You have a condition, so you need a result. If you work hard, you will succeed. Or if you work hard, you will save money to get whatever you want. If you uh, do something, you will receive something. Or you receive something, whether I use it in future or as planning or promise or I made it that present symbol, present symbol, whatever it is. But here I have two clauses. I have F clause, which is a conditional one. Then I have the result after that. And I can't have one of them without the other. If one of them only, it doesn't have a meaning and I still wait for the result. Okay? So that's the idea of a clause. Could have the elements of a sentence, like a subject, verb, and object, or subject, verb, and adjective, but still, it needs adding, or need another part, another clause, to have a full meaning sentence. Okay, so that's a clause. A clause could be reason, result, uh, condition, result, um, a contrast, clauses, whatever. It could have many forms, again. So, comes to the last part, which is a phrase. The phrase is actually two or three words, together they have a meaning. Like, for example, and it's expressional, it's more expressional. When I say, for example, um, heads up, I'm here to give you a heads up. I'm here to give you a heads up, that means a warning or something to take care of or something that you're supposed to stop doing it or take care of when you are doing it or whatever it is. When you are speaking to someone, one of your friends want to tell you about a problem or something and you say to him, all ears, that's those two words saving time because you, instead of saying, for example, I am totally with you or I leave whatever I do and I just listen to you, you just say, I'm all ears, two words, expressional, they have a meaning of I'm listening or I'm all totally with you, okay? Uh, so you have a lot, we have a lot of phrases and we have phrasal verbs not to neglect that which is a verb plus preposition that they have a meaning plus the, uh, like adding to the original meaning to the verb or even sometimes change the whole meaning of a verb in some cases. So that's a phrase, it's two, three words together that it's expressional have a meaning. Okay, so that's the difference between sentence, clause and a phrase. Hope that it was beneficial and you got the difference between the three for whoever were asking. This was my have and uh, from your on the court side telling you the differences between the three elements of the speech or three parts of the speech. See you inshallah next time in another video. See you, bye. Thank you. Salam. Bye.